Yeah, I was just gonna see if you wanted to go fishing, but uh, I guess you're working, so. Just a couple feet away from me, carp. Oh, beautiful, look at that. Those carp, there's carp everywhere. That's insane. I love catching me some carp. Looks like they're trying to eat some food, but let's try and catch them. Okay, we'll soon have the first cast. What in the world? Okay, as you can see there, horrible first cast. Um, so yeah, uh, cast happy with that we're gonna set that down put a bobber on it and call it a call it a, a catch right Okay, so got these two going and uh, we know there's fish out there, but we don't know that the fish will bite. It's a little bit of a headwind. So uh, we're gonna let them sit, I think, and uh, see what we can catch. Oh, these bring refreshments. Okay, so we're at a new spot. Uh, we don't have the wind in our faces as nearly as much, but uh, we do have a new spot, so um, try some casting. So, uh, yeah. You seeing anything? See any fish? No? Oh yeah? I don't know, there's nothing really happening. There's a flint 
stealing your channel. Yeah guys, it's windy. Windy, a little bit sunny. Uh, windy, sunny, and uh, warm. I feel like news guy, but I really gotta go. So we're gonna not call it quits. We're actually gonna go to a different spot after this, but we gotta go take a little bit of a break and find the nearest bathroom. So, I actually plan on going on the other side of the lake, maybe right over there, right there, because the wind is blowing in my face. So, if, if I have the wind, it's going on here. There we go. It released. Oh yeah, I threw everything in the back. I, uh... A used needle disposal in this bathroom, in the most scheduled place, a gas station bathroom. Are there drugs happening here? Makes me worried. You only see those in, in hospitals. You know, those hospital disposable needles. You never really see them in public. Kind of like biohazard, the biohazard sign on that. For biohazards, place to. Job well done. An easy place uh, back here. Uh, very, it's actually less windy. I, I actually, right now it is, anyways. But the wind is actually blowing down there, so maybe we'll have better luck. But uh, yeah, that's the plan. Kind of like this spot. You see, there's something. Looks like right. Yeah, that's kind of funny. Looks like a dog toy gonna fish it so okay so yeah I can already feel the difference between this location and the other ones we're gonna go ahead and cast this out oh yeah that was a bad cast let's redo that one Getting lucky, right? Name of the game. Get lucky. A little bit of action right there. It's actually a muskrat. The muskrat family over here. Right there, see where it goes. I kinda wanna stay away from them a little bit. I also saw a fish jump over there. Birds chirping. Spy on him a little bit. Still working. This 
side works too. You gotta keep an eye on it. Make sure it still works. Put some time and effort into that thing. Well guys, we did it. We caught, your, caught our first fish. I'm very excited um, for this one. Um, kind of feel a little bit bad, but uh, I think we're gonna keep it. I think we are. So uh, It looks like there's a little bit of overcast. Uh, coming so I don't know if there's a storm coming those, those, those look like storm clouds for sure uh, I think we have a little bit of time so we're gonna leave that guy there and my other fishing pole snapped so uh, yeah but this one's still alive and there he goes so he's caught really good really good so uh so uh, uh he's gonna be a little bit hard there's somebody watching me right there it's gonna be a little bit hard to get the actual hook out off of him but it'll be a definitely be a job but yeah i was just sitting there and this pike so this fishing pole that caught this pike uh, tipped over, made a bunch of noise. My water, my empty water bottle is actually floating in the middle over there and all my stuff fell in. Um, all my stuff dropped into the water and I uh, had to, while simultaneously holding on to the fishing pole, I had to uh, pick everything up and make sure uh, make sure uh, nothing. I didn't lose anything. These are some valuables, some souvenirs. My water bottle that uh, is really nice was in the water. So I grabbed that out, but luckily this fish was very um, hooked really good with a treble hook I had, and we had no problems reeling them in. But uh, yeah, there we go. Looks like you got a little bit of urine everywhere. But uh Yeah, there we go. That's the that's the fish. Um I believe we aren't supposed to throw these back into the water, so what we're gonna do is we are going to um just throw them on the side. We just have this one fishing pole out right now, so uh, yeah, we just have this one fishing pole to finish up because we're actually going to be leaving soon and call it a day. Good day today. Better than nothing. It's a pretty nice pike. Pretty decent. Not too small, not too big. Kind of a medium sized pike. Could definitely be bigger, but there's a lot, there's a lot of, you know, potential back here, I think. So. First time by myself uh, catching a fish on a pole. I have shot fish with a bow, but those are carp. Yeah, this is a pike, so good day today. It's always a good day when you catch something. Always brightens your mood, you know? Shows you you're doing all that hard work, pays off, and uh, yeah, it's paid off today. Okay, so I found this cool recipe. Um, and it calls for milk, and we're actually gonna soak the fish that we caught in milk, and we're going to um, let it soak in the milk for about two hours. And we don't have any, just any type of milk, we have lactose-free milk. So we're gonna... Okay. 
and it looks like it's actually going to overflow. But if it does, it does, just does. So, because the mass from the fish takes up space, makes it overflow, and that's what we have going on right now. Oh, oh, oh. And there we go, we're gonna set the timer for... Okay, so this is the pike. Um, in milk, lactose milk, I think it's better than normal milk, and some salt. And um, it still has an hour and 30 minutes to go in here, soaking. And this is a mixture of crackers, uh, flour, salt, and pepper. And it's a very simple recipe, and we're going to later cook this, and you'll see what we're going to do. And this is the, uh, the last step, I think. You actually look at the recipe. So, uh, one thing I forgot was the eggs. This is the, this is it cooking. Try it? No? No. Okay. A little bit salty, a little bit hard on the salt, but overall, pretty good review.